to the fracture. You already know what the routine is. OSK, how are you Ooh. doing today, my man? Dude, I'm doing fantastic. I'm so excited to see qualifier number two, man. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. Just following your lead as that key master takes his way down to the fracture. And let's get right into it. 38 people in this right game. We're going to be getting down to those top 15. As you know, the element elite qualifier is going down. We got Mud X starting out here. A nice loading screen, a nice bug skin. We're going to pop around and just keep going until <laughs> we can find us a fight here. Ranger Griffin coming through that Master Frostborn title as well as we keep bouncing. I won't go through all the names. You know, it's a lot of people coming out for these solos at this time. So I'll keep everything kind of chill. I'll, I'll make sure we just go through it. Uh, you'll, you'll know the names by the end, I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, Juclo sure. takes out a kill there. Sir Dapper also in the kill feed. Let's get our way around to see what happened on that side over there. I think I see Millsy as well in a fight. So let's hope this loading screen can uh, do us a favor here and show us what's going on. Millsy pops yeah, himself yeah, yeah. up there, I drops the indeed. fireball, Looks nothing like... coming through. Both players, no belt. So it's going to be a little bit... Never mind, his opponent does have a belt. Millsy is at a very big disadvantage here. Has to turn his way around, throws down the firewall, but it does not connect on anything. Never mind, he just saves that cooldown right there. Millsy is on the Toxicologist. He does have yeah, his yeah, invis yeah. pop. He's able to get his way on that mobility, takes a jump down here. This is a weird little trade. Millsy doing a great job of taking the high ground there, getting an advantage That's on his nice opponent. That's a nice position. Yeah, you see him kind of just press his way forward. He is saving that cloud. I don't know if he wants to use it for a DF or he wants to use it for the mobility. I'm assuming he wants to save it for that dash. Gets his way over. Both players are pretty much exactly yeah, equal. Millsy's got to be careful. Takes the flight, backs his way up, throws down the cloud. Beautiful DF by Millsy, but it only connected nice on hit. one tick. That's his opponent is noodling him right now. Millsy, you can't go down like this. Not on that the noodle. Is... That is disrespectful. What are you doing, sir? Oh, Sincade V2 gets the noodle kill onto Millsy, reads the scroll, and he's going to be moving on there. No third party coming onto Sincade, so he'll be able to get away with that one. Wow, I did not expect yeah. to see a noodle kill in game one. Moktola getting a kill onto Ranger Griffin as well. Snowman and also getting a goes. kill. here he goes. Yeah, we are going right into it. I just moved over to Xerox as well, who's also looting. Got himself a nice epic uh, frost, so he's good to go too. Everybody in here is kind of already getting their loot, trying to secure what they can. Already have 29 people thinned out down to this, so a bunch of kills. Sincade gets another kill onto Brett Teddy. Unfortunately, we missed that one, but he just went back to back. Gets a noodle kill and then kills off with the fire, filling up that kill feed quite nicely. We got Very Crisp as well, who had a very good performance last tournament. He's out here again playing his second qualifier. Remember, you can only play in two of three, so Chris made the decision to try to just play this one out and uh, just get the performances out of the way. Leave it for the third. We got Moktola now. I'm moving on to him. He's already got one exile in the works. Fr Fried Bussy gets a kill. One Kenobi goes down to Zarina and Crisis goes ta takes down UCTTV. Larsmon takes down Fenox, Another surprisingly toxic. enough. We're going to be bouncing around. i got to get over to this action here and see what we can find. Yeah, I'm looking over at Captain Zirin right here. He's having a very nice pyro fight over here. I'm going to work my way over There's there. quite the contest going on. Here we are, over to Captain Zarin, like you mentioned. Ooh, he's got that nice Tempest Trail when you get up in the air and they hold sure that space bar to levitate. You Here know, fun go. fact, the Tempest, the Tempest Cloud Burst actually does increase your jump height. By the way, that's a joke. That's not true. <laughs> it just, it's, it's a spiritual type of thing. It is, it's very Sincade spiritual. Sincade gets a kill onto Gordon, you see that in the kill feed. Lumi as well Ooh. getting a kill onto Lion's Mill. Again, a lot of Toxic. You're gonna see that as a, as a theme here. Although Zarin we see is on the Tempest, Toxic is going to be a mainstay in these solo events. It is just so deadly and gives you so much mobility. We're going to get off of Zarin. Although he has three kills, he's decided to just post up on the tower. Honestly, it's the right move to make when you already have yeah, so many kills. Yeah, plays. One thing you'll notice is that there are no respect amongst competitors today. They are all being toxic as they can. They're going to be dashing around and slapping people in the face with that gauntlet. Exactly, man. That's what it's all about. We got a top ramen out here. Unfortunately, hasn't secured any kills this round so far. I think he took kind of a far out drop. Maybe the way to go. I think top ramen knows that he Just will be able to him. do work when he gets to that late game regardless. Trying to scale up on that pyro. It's always fun Just to see that. Just wait for him, man. He'll come out. He'll come out. It is risky sometimes to hot drop as a pyro. If you land on the wrong toxicologist, you can just get I'm looking at, at Thrived beginning. over here. Here we go. I just take one he's space bar. behind his firewall. Oh, baby. He's got to heal up. He took a lot of damage. I hear a frost. Oof. Somebody is taking shots, but oh, a stone comes on the backside too. Fry takes a side over. He has Ooh, a chrono. He's in Pops between that. three right here. Takes it away. He needs to get out of this position, OSK. Oh, Just like nice you mentioned, firewall. he is between three people. Chrono gives you no mobility to bounce out, oh, though. He's goodness, in trouble. Fri Frivd gets hit by the Larsmon oh. from deep. And now we're going to see what happens on the follow-up. 
Larsmon takes the fight away from the actual conflict. He doesn't want to go in and take that second fight. Probably Big. smart. Great job by Larsmon taking three kills right now, securing that with the Ice Gauntlet. It is so huge for your scorecard to be able to secure those exiles. Borsellino gets a kill into Megaverse FTW. That is another player that we have to keep our eyes on today, OSK. Borsellino oh, for coming sure. out for today's qualifier. Exciting stuff. Stone oh my goodness, God. he's going off. He is going off today. Look at him. We got to get ourselves over to Borsellino, I think, around this time right now. When you see that type of kill feed work, you got to get your way over to Borsellino. That's two kills straight with that stone gauntlet. He's already got that triumph too, so he's going to be pounding boulders all day. What a nice firewall. Oh my goodness. And fire boulders. Dude, this man is out for blood. Look at him go. Such a scary build, Borsellino on that stone shaper. He's just so tanky and he just has presence of mind all day. Able to just fight through any situation. That's two kills on two tournament players right there. As you see, Megaverse and Crisis going down. Borsellino is about to get looted up right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and I want to point out the strategy is running. You'll notice this build a lot. Harmony, Fervor, and Thirsty. You got a lot of damage resistance. Going to be re reducing um, slows and stuns from Lightning and Frost. A lot of cast speed to get that Stone Shaper proc off. And Thirsty, he's going to be constantly healing. All he needs to do is pop a Shadow Step and he has a potion practically. It's funny because I've heard, I've heard some people so decide... Much. Also, I've just popped over to Lumi really quick who's into a fight. But I've heard some people say Thirsty's oh, not boy, great on Stone Shaper just because you're already getting an armor burn. But at the same time, Thirsty's just so strong right now. So Lumi takes a back seat, takes the teleport as well. She's already down to 50 HP. Turns the corner, peeks on the hill, but it connects to the wall. Doesn't Careful. get through. Careful Backs now. Up. Ooh, nice oh, shot risky. by Lumi. Woo! Oh, no. You can't do that right there. You know, you do land a nice shot, but no. Alpha Dog is playing Stone Shaper. You're going to have to back up. At 50 HP, Lumi is just too low to take that scrap against a Stone Shaper, especially a Stone Shaper player like Alpha Dog, who knows exactly what he's doing there. Snowman Alpha is Dog's just a wiping level, a lobby, man. by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, that is, I think, his third kill. As we, I'm going to pop quickly pop over to him and see what he's doing. Oh, you know what? I'm seeing Kalinor right here. He's in the middle of a fight. New competitor, this this qualifier here. He's up against another Pyro. He's going a little bit lower. Let's see how he does today, plays. All right, I'm, I'm on to you right now. Let's see what he's got. You said he's into a little bit of an engagement. Once this loading screen gets out of my way, we'll see what's yeah, happening. He seems to have lost his opponent. He is desperately looking for more attention right here. I can hear the audio, but he can't quite see him just yet. It, interesting, we got Kalnor running Scavenger. I did see Leon play a little bit of Scavenger in the first qualifier, I believe, but Scavenger is just a pretty, uh, pretty ballsy talent to be running out here against tournament players, man. You're just saying to yourself that you're going to be securing tons of kills. Unfortunately, Kalnor hasn't gotten any yet. As, as we say that, SDK Top Ramen TTV gets his first kill onto the Dark Breakers. As I said, Snowman is just yeah, yeah, wiping yeah. out here with that Tempest build. Larsmon as well has got three kills. It's interesting to see these new players come out and give their first rounds of the tournament, like Larsmon. Here's a player yeah, who it, it is certainly not his first round of the tournament. We got Top Ramen coming through the storm. I think there is a person right on top of him. Top Ramen takes the dash, the dash up to the top cliff. I don't Ooh, know what that what accent play. was. He does and have the lightning in, in his offhand right, right now here. as well. That harmony is going to be doing him good. We do see a lot of harmony, fervor, thirsty. That triple talent trio is all we've been seeing throughout these events. And it makes sense. They just work so well together and they stand out on their own. Top Ramen yeah, going to keep backing. You notice that he had to hop right there. It looks like he procced the bigger potion. All he needs is the little one. You can actually press the jump button to get that get that potion canceled and then start the other one very quickly. Right, right. But uh, pretty nice. Yeah, good thing the Thirsty too. There is no... Uh, there's less room for mistake if you choose the wrong pot considering you drink it in about three seconds anyway. So Top Ramen's just taking a better <laughs> position here. He uh, decided Bottoms not to up. fully engage onto that fight. We do see the result of it, though. Snowman, it was Snowman taking out Kalnor. Sinke takes out Protest yeah. R188. That is Sinke's fourth kill right now. He's having Dude, a great I'm looking round. over at Chris right here. It looks like he's trying to sneak up on Sinke, but he's also in between another person over here. He sees some loot on the ground. Going to pick up that legendary stone. I'm going to keep bouncing and over as we see Borsalino took a kill on the snowman. I'm onto Elpa Dog now. He's backing up. There's two people onto him. He tries to dash up, but nothing comes of it. He's fighting oh, off Oh, Elpa, Chris. you're in between two right here, yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's Stone Shaper on Stone Shaper action right there. It's going to be tough. Uh -oh. Elpa Dog is stuck between a rock and a hard place as he slides through, gets Out into the building. This is a zone. smart move by Elpa Dog to just push through to the circle. There was no chance of him surviving if he didn't take an alternative route. Is he he keeps going, but this might be the end of the road for Elpa Dog. He does not yeah, have speak. Thirsty. That recklessness is not doing him any favors in this situation. That's going to be it. Sincade gets Sin the kill. Cade. We're going to stick on to him as he has five exiles right now. Sincade has oh got my goodness, five. Man. 
we're gonna got to we got to stick on him right now. I think Sincade is just popping out. Here's another yeah, opponent, another challenger. This him. is gonna be Chris versus Sincade. Here's a little one on one in this beautiful little fixture on the mountain. Sincade turns around, hits a nice flick, double flick as well. Oh, what a takes the outbreak dash. Look twos. at the movement. Look at the moves. <laughs> I love seeing a toxicologist player use his cloud twice as well. It's a nice little. Oh, flick that's there. a nice corrosion proc there too. Yeah, he knows what exactly what he's doing against the stone shaper. He's trying to make sure the corrosion stays on him full tick, so that Chris has no options but to keep pressing. There's another player that rolls into this fight. Sincade throws down the DF. But it doesn't connect for very major damage. Doesn't want to use it. Firewall. Yeah, you oh saw right there as well. Ooh, Borsellino versus Sincade. Now, this is the 1v1 between friends that you love to see. Chris got taken down by Borsellino. He came through and actually secured the kill that Sincade had started. Sincade must right be a now, little bit bothered by that. Dude, right now, Sincade is sitting on a throne of his own brain right here. His brain is so big, it seems to have taken up the rest of his body. Sincade keeps on popping through here, throws out more Toxic. As we mentioned, he's just trying to stick on that Corrosion. Corrosion is such a strong effect. Throws it down. Nice DF. What a nice Ooh. combo. Sincade is just whipping out oh these combos. Goodness. You saw it first there with the Outbreak slap into the um, backwards turn. And now he gets the DF off as well. Sees the opponent potting but doesn't connect. Sincade is applying so much kill pressure while taking so little damage. Interesting yeah. that he's using a fire in his offhand too. Some people have said it's not the strongest thing to run right now, but Sincade is saying forget about it. He jumps through, lands the outbreak, back to oh, back to back to what back. What a nice sequence. Borsellino goes down. Sincade's got six right now. Four people left, including himself. Sincade could have himself he's around. Pyro right here. Back to back, but his opponent breaks it. Oh, Unfortunately, no. Sincade's getting WP by a pyro player. Turns his way around, but a nice firewall will change the tide. Sincade playing so excellently right now as he drinks a big pot trying to squeeze himself between this wall and the storm turns around There's another player Sincade just dodges all damage incoming. Oh my god This is exciting to see ladies oh and gentlemen god, burns it, but the tornado, tornado comes down too damage. quick and it breaks him off Sincade's gonna have to just keep burning here uh, Armor's broken recklessness not available for him. He's just got thirsty with no armor pots to burn Sincade takes the turn as well. This is just crazy. He's going fight to fight it is. Oh no. You notice that Sincade, the true the mark of a true good player is not only being able to dodge your opponent, but also avoiding being dodged. That's the big kicker here. He's doing such a good job of being evasive right here. Something so hard to do against players of this caliber. Yeah, it was a smart play right there. You see him take advantage of this little corner spot. I've seen this being whoa, used whoa. more and more lately. He gets away, uses it to dodge the wind spam. Nice turn by Sincade. Realizes that he doesn't have his cloud off of cooldown. This might be the end of the road for our hero here. Takes oh, two no. slaps though to the face. Uses it off that a nice tiny burn. Cloud. Oh, my my goodness what a play <laughs> what a play <gasps> Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, oh Sincade just whipped out a highlight play for you guys to enjoy. That will be the end of his game, but I don't think it matters here. Oh my god, it does not oh matter my in my mind. Man. Sincade just worked them right there. Now we're going to see SDK Top Ramen TTV versus Larsmon for the 1v1 with a big circle left. We're going to stay on SDK Top Ramen. What a play by Sincade. I am low-key disgusted right Dude. now by what I just witnessed. Dude, no matter what place he got through there, I think he got third place. Those exiles and that damage is going to add up. He got oh my so God, many yeah. that game. Oh my god, yeah. But SDK is getting sniped right here. Well my played goodness. by Larsmon to just put so Larsman. much pressure and take the win Who off the of top Roman. Larsmon comes in with what I think is a five bomb for the win. Just Ooh. what a whoa, what a game for uh, the first first match of the second qualifier for the Element Elite Tournament. Thank you so much for sticking around. We are going to get right into the next game. We will be right back. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sleep off the montages until the full intermission. We got to find some cues, but thank you for sticking with us. We will be right, 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 right back. What a game, man. Wow, what oh a first goodness, match man. to see there. Not only did we see Sinke just whipping it out, we saw Larsmon first game of the first event in his uh, Spellbreak experience. And he came out here and he just showed out. We got another person bouncing me up away from the fracture. That's OSK himself. And let's get Hell after yeah. it. 33 people in this match. Got to make sure I don't press exit. That is a devastating mistake. I almost did that myself. I have done that many, many, oh many times, goodness. sir. So here we see Moctola already getting a little bit of loot. Snowman taking a kill into Power 9 as well as Trivium Gaming getting down Bartrone. I'm going to keep popping around because sometimes you can get lucky and find a real nice early fight. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a gamble sometimes. We got Lumi as well taking a kill. Millsy's back in here. Hopefully he will not, oh, he will avoid the noodle of Sincade. We forgot about that as well. Sincade got a noodle kill to start the last game off. That's how you know yeah, he's man. off to a hot I roll. I did forget about that. And we I got Fenox that, in here. Shout out to Fenox coming out for today's event. He's coming out. He's got the TP off common. You hate to see it. Sincade already getting a kill into Teddy. Snowman as well already has one kill. So nice to see Snowman out here every time on his classic Tempest. 
never breaking away wanna, from his main class. I love to see that dedication. Yeah, I want to devote your attention over here to Trivium Gaming. He's chasing someone with a Toxic and a Wind. Looks like he's ahead of the fight right here. He has a belt already, and the other guy does not. Ooh, nice. And look at the wind. Oh, there's another too. one. Nothing happening go, here. Dude. Yeah, he's just chasing this off. Toxicology just plays that one smart, you know, laying those corrosive puddles to make it harder to chase. But Trivium Gaming, as you mentioned, OSK, has that belt advantage that is so massive, not to mention a shadow step as well. But he's getting chased from the back. This might be too much of a yep, chase here. Yep. Trivium Gaming getting blown from both sides. DF coming down. OSK, he's in trouble here, man. He really is. He has that tunnel vision going on, man. He only sees what's in front of him, and the only person he's... Oh my goodness, he has a belt. That's not good. Yeah, as you he said, the tunnel vision was too much there, I think, for Trivium right Gaming, but he just turn, keeps on turning. Oh, Ooh, he he actually, actually made some good work right there. That was a lot closer than I thought he would be. If he gets that kill off, he has he has Scavenger coming in, restoring his health, and he might have a chance to go after that other guy, but so unfortunate to see that third party come in. Yeah, Frived, unfortunately, as well, got that one finished off, but nobody... I thought he would for sure get jumped on by the other person that Trivium was chasing, but unfortunately not. It just the fight will resolve right there, I guess. Borsellino back out here. Zero kills so far, but I'm expecting to see a big showing. Iron Poop, we forgot. He's coming out for today. He gets a kill. You see him in the kill feed. Let's keep popping around and try to find something going on over there. Protester R, I'm onto him, who's into a fight, I believe. I hear some ice bows being drawn. No loading screen, so you love to see it. Throws up the frost shot. Is it going to hit? No connect. He actually hits the top side of that bridge, so it's not even going to have a chance. Throws another one, but nothing will land. Protester R needs to get something off here. I think it is Snowman up there doing work, but he hits a 55. Nice tick. One more is all it's going to take. Nice shot onto UCTTV. Protester Ooh. R getting a beautiful kill with that frost. I see gauntlet. you with that mouse. There it is. He turns around oh, as well. Now he's following up the second here. kill. Sees the TP come out. He has a TP of his own as he takes his way to the nice backside. TP. He's going to have to try to finish this one up. Nice slap right there. No hiding Protester from this R. man. Here it is, man. I think he should be able to finish this one off unless the Patrick can get it, make a huge play. No. Nope. He's just going to go on with the base. One more tap. It's one more tap. That's it. One more tap between the two oh, of them. It's Calmore. Dude, I thought that was Kalinor. You see him with the patchwork going with the pyro. I mean, it's a different Very fight stylish. right there. It's a different fight. I wasn't expecting to see Kalinor turn that one around, especially the DF. Chasing a player with a DF can be pretty dangerous. Kalinor proving that one there, taking the kill. But at least Protester R did secure one exile, so something good came of it. Snowman getting another kill, this time with the fire gauntlet. Let's see if we can whip ourselves yes, over around there. We got SDK Gordon in here. We've got to mention first event for SDK Gordon as a participant. He has showcasted in the past as well, but... It's nice to see him out here competing. Got that fire and that stone. He's rocking the stone shaper build. So it's going to be cool to see what he's got going for us today. Yeah. I want to devote your, I want to direct your attention over here to Chowder Pro. He's going after it right now against a guy. He's got toxic fire and interestingly enough, Featherfall. And he's got an interesting little build out here too. Oh, he's got that legendary Featherfall. So at least, even though it is not a great rune, at least it's on a low cooldown. Turns around, there's two people fighting in front of him. Throws down the Toxic Cloud. Little bit of a poor toss there. Didn't connect onto anything. His opponent is Frostborn taking shots at his enemy. Chowder Pro should take this time to quickly pot. You see he's got Vital Stone on three stack yep. and Finders Keepers. Yep, what an play. interesting build of talents here. I don't know what yeah. to think of this whole situation I got right, in front so of me right here. So let's break this down. He's got Spell Slinger, Finders Keepers, and Vital Stone. Not exactly what I would call meta, but Spell Slinger, uh, it's able to give you a, an extra gauntlet to fight with. Finders Keepers, you're going to find those scrolls faster. And Vital Stone, you get pretty much an extra life at half health. Yeah. So, I mean, my one issue with uh, Finders Keepers is that in solos, I find that you're already free looting a lot of the map. Maybe not in these events, but yeah. uh, for the most part, it's it's not as great of a talent. Let's bounce around here as we see he's just spamming through. We got Sincade V2 getting a bunch of kills. I want to see what he's got going for himself. Here's here. our big brain boy. Look yeah. how big that hood is, man. Nice gotta, turn on that flight that rune. Sincade's just going to pop himself back up to high ground here. I want to see what he's got going. He knows that this opponent must be low. Look at him hunting down his prey. When you see an opponent take oh, a side strafe play. like that, you know that they're just trying to get a pot off. And I think Sincade knows that too. He smells blood in the water. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, for sure. he's got that flight rune. I don't know if he just has been unlucky in finding a dash so far. If maybe he prefers uh -oh. the flight rune. I know he doesn't prefer Here the comes common the boots. Shark. Oh no, he's getting stuck on that pole uh -oh. right there. Uh oh. I want to point out something too, is that he's using toxic, which has corrosion. 
That actually lets you track through invis with the with the different armor props. Oof, my god, what a Sin nice play. This is why the flight rune will help you get away from those third party situations. Nice play by Sincade. You guys all saw that flick into the double slap. You know how much damage that gets off in about two and a half seconds? Sincade oh, just burst yourself, down boy. prices. But the DF will find him. Uh -oh. Sincade is in a lot of trouble here as he turns around. You guys are gonna try to draw his frostbow uh, most is likely. That Kalnor? Yeah, that is, is Kalnor, that Kalnor pressing him down. You can tell by the patchwork pyro combination. Fireball just barely misses. Sincade may actually get away with this one with his life if he's lucky Kalnor will be chasing though as you see the spring step pop himself back up scary stuff Ooh, nice outbreak juke. slide too. Sinke just trying to juke like you mentioned Niku Uwu gets a kill into Lars oh, last no. round's winner unfortunately going down Ranger Griffin as well getting a kill as we see Sinke flight pop himself back up over nice juke it's going to be hard for Kalnor to chase him here. As we know, Pyro doesn't have too much Oh, look at him using the Toxic Alacrity. I love it, man. Yeah, I love nice it. You put see. down the Toxic Puddle, put down the Toxic Puddle, and then snipe it up. It's just like Frozen Alacrity. This man is pulling out all the tricks. Here we go. Sinkade is in trouble, though. He did get both of those pots off. Not quite the second big pot. He will get a full revive other than that, though. Sinkade uses the Flight Rune once again with the slide. He's just so Andre. mobile with Toxicologist and that flight. SDK Gordon gets a kill into one Kenobi. <laughs> you see uh, Sinkade no trying to tree today. strat right there. You see a little <laughs> trying to build a tree house real quick on him. Not much going to happen there. Let's keep sliding here. There's 12 people left, and I know Sinkade is just going to keep on looking for this reset for the most part. So yeah, I want to yeah, find yeah. somebody going in for that straight one-on-one. -on -one. I'm popping over to SDK Top Rom, and I have a suspicion that he sees some action. He's just yeah. camping out over this rock. He knows that he's just taking his time on positioning. Seeing, making sure nothing is coming from behind him does not want to be surprised by any odd angles. Oh, Instead, oh, he just wants I, to clean I this see something. Up. Oh boy! Here oh, it is. He's, you he's see trying, him kind of just to lurking party around the side of this here. rock. That is Sincade and Kalnor that we just watched fight earlier, and now it's going to be Top Still Ramen's going. turn to clean this one up. Shadow steps over, just needs to land a couple, burns a nice cloud off the top right there. Always crucial yeah, if to do that. If anyone's going to clean this up, player. it's definitely going to be Top Ramen. Oh yeah, here we go. He just needs to land a couple more lightning slaps uh -oh. on the Sincade. That's going to finish it off. Never mind, that was actually That's Xerox. Actually Xerox. Yeah, Sincade must have fully rotated all the way out of the fight, which is a smart play by him. But now yeah, Top Ramen, Top Ramen actually missed out on picking up that epic fire. There must be a lot of going on in his head right now to to keep uh having to rotate yeah. through that type of thing Kalnor again on him top ramen is still full hp though this is a yeah. risky engagement he has the advantage on Kalnor right here having more health and also being fully scrolled up he no longer needs to read he is fully educated and now he's ready to <laughs> use his talents man what is that nook? Yeah, this what is, is this is some is hidden nooks and crannies coming out here. This is what happens when you see tournament players from their perspective taking. I have never seen oh that small God. little area into Arena of Elders. That could actually win a game or two given the right circumstances. So unfortunately, Top Ramen did not finish the kill onto Kalnor. It looks like Kalnor yeah. got away. I'm surprised. Maybe Top Ramen knew that there was most likely a third party coming. He does have a sixth sense for these types of things. Again, he walks right over the purple fire though. Ah, maybe he thinks he's already got one on his wrist. It's unfortunate to see that type of thing, but that's okay. Ten people left. Let's keep bouncing around here. I want to see what Fenox up to. Fenox on that toxicologist. Yeah, sure. Not really much going on on his side, so we're going to keep bouncing. I have a feeling we're going to see a fight. Sir Dapper as well. Yeah, Unknowingly. I just want to point out that... I just want to point out that Sincade is still trying the tree stats, and unfortunately, he is not succeeding. <laughs> I think he hears someone close by, though. That's probably why he's just sticking himself up oh, there. I'm on to Sir Dapper, though, who's oh. now pushing onto somebody, holding down that M1 win, trying to get some connect. But him and his opponent just trade. The corrosion is going to turn out for the losing trade on Sir Dapper's side. You would have thought that he would have yeah, had yeah, the, yeah. the jump there, but just taking one slap to the face is enough to burn you down about half of your armor. Elpidog gets the kill into Niku Uwu in the, yep. with the fire. Yeah, and, and I want to point out that um, Sir Dapper was actually fighting Sinkei just now. He, he's the only he's the only uh, chandelier, for lack of a better term, that's fighting anyone right now. Right. Oh, Mega versus Looks like Toast. Sincade, Mega versus Toast. I just popped over to him. He's in Vizrune running from Kalnor right now. Somehow just juke juke them. Really nice. I'm Ooh. surprised that uh -oh. Kalnor didn't see him. I thought he was trolling a little bit. Mega versus oh, is going to have one more chance to juke. This is going to be difficult for him. Oh, he know Kalnor oh, knows he sees him right there. Mega versus not get away with that one. It's going to be the end of his party here. Jumps through with one more in Vizrune. Tries to get the juke, but Kalnor smells blood. He's going to just need one yeah, more fireball to secure the kill. Megaverse has common boots as well. This is going to be the end of the story for him. There it is. Ranger Griffin actually secures the kill, oh, though, taking it from it. Kalnor. Oh, my God. Kalnor must be furious about that. Ranger Griffin pops himself back up, tries to secure one more shot onto Kalnor, Kalnor, but it does not land. His fortitude still has not been popped as well. 
He still has Invuln for one more shot. He has such an advantage into this fight. Just needs there's to connect. There's so many people fighting in this one little corner of the screen. Oh, oh my goodness. I hate to be an advocate for it, but he really should just win spam Kalnor down here to his last degree. There's no reason to not just hold down that M1 in this situation. Top Ramen gets the kill into Zarin with the lightning and the kill feed. You see that as well, but Ranger Griffin has worked himself into a bad situation right now. Yeah, the strategy's not really paying off for him, Cotton. Oh, he's going to pop himself back up. I don't know exactly what's going on here with the dash flicks and all the he's rest of it, but Kalnor is just shoving okay. it up the bottom side here. The wind damage, this is what you want to see right here, ladies and gentlemen. The fortitude comes back up. Ranger Griffin could actually have a chance right now, but what you need to do is Dude, land your Frostborn Kalnor shot and push it. Kalnor is relentless. He has scavs, so he knows that when he gets that kill, he will get a reward for it. A little bit of wind spam. Both players are almost exactly even now. Ranger Griffin, turn and face. Try to smoke that. Oh, nothing's going to come of it. Ranger Griffin oh, takes nice. the pot. He has Thirsty, so you know he will have a bit of an advantage. I'm not sure exactly what Kalnor is running, but he's got that wind spam jump on him. A little bit more damage. The Toxic Slap comes out, but it doesn't connect for Kalnor. This is a very scuffed fight as they bounce around this weird hill. This is where he needs to <laughs> land it. Another Fireball lands. Ranger Griffin back to his original HP. This is just a continuous trade between the two of them. Jumps over a nice this Fireball, is though. What is Kalnor's fight. HP? And the big question you're thinking about here is where is the third party? Exactly. This has been going soon. on for two centuries right now, and there's still nothing coming out of it. Ranger Griffin down to 27 just keeps backing up. Kalnor, you Ooh. need to secure this, and soon Top Ramen's out here popping. Gets a kill into SDK2. Oh, I mean, gets a kill into Syncade. My apologies. It's over here. Ranger Griffin is down to legitimately there two it HP. Goes. There it is. Three people left now, so we're into Top Ramen, Kalnor, and Elpa Dog. This is a big top three. I'm on my way over to Top Ramen, who's just hovering over Elpa Dog a little bit. I don't know if he actually saw right yeah, there, yeah. but now he does. Turns around, doesn't connect on anything. Elpa Dog with some nice moves to keep sh make sure them happy feet are bouncing. Doesn't get yeah. caught by any CC or damage. N not anymore as well. Top Ramen hasn't landed anything onto Elpa Dog. Just backing Watch up. It. Dodges the DF though very nicely. All right, so that's Kalnor coming in for the third party. I'm not sure if he knows that Sin Cade is right behind him. This will be very interesting to see. How... Looks like he's already on health. He is in danger right here. Yeah, he's down right now. Kalnor should not have pushed this. I get that he's got that W key strategy, but not against Top Ramen, man. There's some people that just W keying is no. tough against. Top Ramen denies the entrance, hitting him with three fireballs. And now we see Elpa Dog versus Kalnor are going to have to be duking it out while Top Ramen just gets beautiful position, gets right above uh, Elpa Dog here. Elpa Dog's still full pot, though. Keep that boy. in mind. Was not expecting to see Opa Dog at full pot right there. OSK. And Kalnor, looks like he got procked in the zone. So it's just SDK, Top Ramen, and Sincade going after it now. No, it's just two right now, man. It's Top Ramen and Elpa Dog going for the 1v1. Oh, it's Elpa. Yeah. Sincade went down Sincade. to Top Ramen off of an earlier people. fight. So now we're I don't know see. my people, man. I just see people play well, and I forget what their names are. That's all good. We see Top Ramen using a new strategy here to kind of just post up and cancel the flight. I've never seen this one before, but I like it. Uses it to just kind of get his side off of Elpa Dog is down there with him though. Throws down the stone slam. Nothing lands on it. Both players are full paw right now. This is a clean 1v1. Drops that lightning. Here it is. The CCC that... CC comes with the firewall. What a massive oh damage goodness. combo from Top Ramen. Pops himself back I... up. 34 off the top. He's just got to finish it here. Cracks him off of his armor. Elpa Dog is in trouble. Also, this is a tough place to fight for a stone shaper there's very little open ground to scrap with top ramen knows this he keeps uh -oh, the pressure that stun is going to come in huge yeah there it is no oh, harmony for elpa dog from what i know here we go he keeps on pushing here tries to hit the flick tries to predict exactly where that shadow step was going that would have been disgusting jumps up elpa yeah. dog is low right now that lightning will be able to secure if he can get him off a couple more ticks but ramen has lost his shield too in this transaction Elpa Dog dodges yeah. that lightning strike and the firewall. Yeah. Those are crucial sorceries to land in the situation. Top Ramen's using that conflagration to just fill up the staircase full of flames. Lands more here. Elpa Dog gets a pot off, though. Another flick on both sides. Jumps up. Tries to hit. Nothing's going to land in the air. The lightning shock, though. Pro does not do anything. I guess the Harmony did go out in proc form right there. Elpa Dog continues to just recharge wow. himself up on that pillar. Firewall does not connect. Both players jump up. We're going to see a lot of that Shadow Step distance trading right there. Oh, yeah, the boulder doesn't out connect. That, yeah, I just want to point out that um, they're in a castle environment. This is not the best place for stone right now. So oh, yeah. he's actually down to just one gauntlet for the most part. Well, Top Ramen is just using that to his advantage as he pushes on top of him here. Elpa Dog is down to half, but he just gets down oh, to the smart. ground to slam a little bit. Top Ramen is just filling up the ground with AoE. That is the advantage of Pyro as he gets right on top of Elpa Dog. Elpa Dog scrambles to get out of there, flicks a quick shadow step, but Top Ramen still landed too. 
They're both even though. This is the crazy thing. After all these shots, the top ramen is landing because Elpa Dog has the stone shaper. Uh -oh, he just keeps regenning. Top oh, ramen is this is a crazy fight. Huge. Top ramen is stuck in the it's side of the image. circle now with the ignite too. Has to get his pots off. He is at seven HP. Elpa Dog is equally low as well. This is a crazy oh last goodness. fight. Nothing burns out of it. Tries to flick his way up with a shadow step. Next shot will win it. Nothing to connect as well. If either player even takes half a second in the storm, they will die to one tick right now. It ticks for twenty eight or something around those Dude, levels. Elba no. Definitely has the advantage right here. Top Ramen is down to actually 9 oh HP. Goodness. Pops himself back up, gets the Ignite off, and he's down! And Ramen. Oh my ramen goodness. Ramen gets killed by the zone. Well, that was a one way to end the fight. I was expecting that one to go a little bit earlier. I guess the Stone Shaper just provides you with so much survivability as we see right there. Top Ramen landed how many fireballs? But because of Elpa Dog's ability to get to the ground and just recharge, keep himself healthy, he gets the win in game two. We will be right back with game three. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. We are back at it, OSK, dropping through the sky. I think you said you wanted to mention something you noticed in that last fight with Elpa Dog's strategy that was very interesting. You, you mind to just share that with us? Yeah, man, with Elpa Dog and Top Ramen, Elpa Dog, while he was under the castle, actually was damaging himself with fire around those fire puddles that you can put up. He was getting his armor lower so he could pop two pots to get some sort of regeneration throughout the fight. It was actually a huge, huge big brain play. And it ended up actually maybe pay playing out for him because he did end up winning that game. 100%. What a, what a little uh, big brain move from Elpa Dog. Definitely an intense final circle. I, I thought that was not going to work out for him. We were both talking about how that's a tough place to fight for Stone Shaper. Pretty tough, man, but he ended up pulling it out here. We're going to keep rotating around trying to find another fight. This is the third game of six. So after this, we will be taking a quick 10-minute break for every, all the contestants and everything to just get get their breath, just like we need our breath back, OSK. We see Iron Poop <laughs> getting a kill. Hard still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to Niku Uwu, who may be in a quick little fight here. Never mind, he's just hovering around the fracture. Kind of scary, like, here we go. I'm actually staying on to Niku Uwu because I was right. There is a fight going on here. Niku is playing Pyro. Doesn't get his firewall off because somebody blew it out in front of him. Has a nice wind gauntlet, so this is not a bad fight for him. Has a belt as well. I don't know if he should be running from this. This might be the kind of fight he wants to take, but... Niku's made the decision to just push off of this one. Drops a quick little wall to try to break away from yeah. that fire, but we're going to keep on bouncing. I want to see somebody who's going to go in for that full-on engagement. Yeah, I want to yeah, see, yeah. see a straight-up fight right here. I don't want to see any chases. We got Larsmon. I've been very, very impressed with Larsmon today and how he's been playing for his first event. He's been clapping, like you mentioned, man. He's been hitting his shots Dude, and doing what he's got to do. This man does not miss. By the way, Sincade just getting a kill right here. He is armoring up. Unfortunately, Mark Tola, either a fracture or a, definitely not a zone one. Yeah, I'm actually on to Sincade again. He is in another fight. He has two kills already. He just fights back to back to back. It reminds me kind of like next game style, where these very talented players will just go fight to fight to fight. Kamski does the same thing as well. They just they yeah, know we, that they can just secure kills after kills. Yeah, we always talk about how action is coming. Sincade is the action, man. If Sincade <laughs> has... Has his eye on you, the action is coming, man. A hundred percent. As we see, Sincade smells a little bit of a chest opening down there. Throws the fireball flick, but it doesn't land. That was a tough shot to take. Sincade dodges the lightning strike and is going to chase this. Interestingly enough, he does not pick up that blue belt that was on the ground. I mean, there's a lot going on in his head right now, so I can't blame him. Sincade jumps off, just barely misses the fireball. Misses both of them. Unfortunately, that is not like him. But the opponent yeah, will fly away. Flight is a very versatile rune now. I've seen it more and more in these competitive events. Players can use it. You, you finish a fight and you can easily get away from a third party or third party somebody else if that's what you want to do. Sinke does yeah. come back and get that blue belt and, and finishes I off out this with, whole area. Yeah, and I want to point out with Flight too is that Kamsky actually just released a montage here where he uses Flight as like a short, as like a longer but also shorter dash route. It's very versatile. I want to Kalnor really quick here as we see him into another fight. Kalnor is actually showing off as well with that W key gameplay we were just talking about, All picking right. fight after fight. Kalnor jumping onto another opponent has a Flight rune once again. Got that Scavenger that we were talking about too, keeping that same build, that same recovery. Throws down the fireball, but it lands only for 16. Unfortunately, just barely gets out of the way of an ice shot. I believe that's Elpa Dog chasing down so Kalnor is pushing in aggressively throws on the firewall and oh, gets this it this will be a good fight this will be a good it's fight helpful. as he dodges the boulder too lands another fireball back to back but he walks oh, up the staircase you can never go up a staircase against a stone shaper they will throw it right down there is two people fighting here as you see a toxicologist two toxicologist stone shaper and pyro all trading out here throws down the fireball this... but nothing's gonna land Kalnor should back up and just take a quick pot look at the storm closing too Kalnor takes a flight and turns the corner nothing gonna happen here sketchy sketchy yeah, this... fight yeah, and this is the all-important question. Is that epic loot worth it? 
I think we know the que the answer to that question is no at this point. Not at this point. Not at the point where we're at where how far Kellner has to rotate, especially in the position he's in where he needs to get a high placement game to secure that top 15 elite spot. I don't think that's the right move, OSK. You were right about that one. Iron Poop. Yeah. I want to pop over to Iron Poop and talking a lot about the homie. He's got two kills out here. He's on to a third one here. Iron Poop trying Dude. to keep securing these fights. Breaks through. He's on to that Stone that Shaper. That name just sounds painful. I'm gonna be honest, it sounds like a very painful name. That <laughs> Iron must have poop. been from a very traumatic experience. Well, he's trying Maybe to poop on these kids event. right now as he turns around and tries to land another fireball. Iron Poop just barely misses, but it's gonna be one more tap is all he needs to secure it. He lands it with the Soul Shape or something against the regen. Iron Poop is down to 27 HP. If he only had a lightning to just take him out of the air, Iron Poop is in a sketchy oh, position. The boulder misses dirty. as well. The lightning is very dirty. As we know, it applies so much pressure. Iron Poop is just posted up behind these little crates trying to block off that Stone Shaper. Very nice positioning yeah. for Iron Poop, but he just barely misses the stolen slam off the far left side. Oh, yeah, and his opponent fact. takes a flight too. Fun fact, the, the stone gauntlet will shake the earth, but it will not break a wooden crate. We exactly. have learned that today. <laughs> not enough to break the wooden crate. As you mentioned, very crisp. <laughs> Turns that one around. Stone Shaper versus Stone Shaper. The fights can get so protracted like that, where you see they just go slam for slam. Both players regening and dealing damage. Chris might uh -oh. die here. As we see lightning coming in. Very well played by Chris. Iron Poop, unfortunately, had to go back to back too, so he was not quite ready for that fight. The oh, wind spam time. comes down. Very Chris might lose here. The wind spam is so tough to deal he with when you're Stone Shaper. just evened up the fight just now. And there's another, there's another person shooting lightning. There's actually a third party coming in. Look Chris at him go. uses that flight run. That was a very, very smart move to just roll out of this. We're going to keep popping around because it's clear that Chris just wants to reset. And we're trying to find some fights. Very, very good play by Chris there to secure the kill onto Iron Poop. That was a tough, oh, yeah. tough scrap between two very good Stone Shaper players. Speaking of very good Stone Shaper players, Borsellino gets the kill onto SDK Gordon. I'm going to work my way yeah, over there yeah. and see what he's doing here. Yeah, and I just want to point out, I just saw, I think it was Elpa, who was in the zone, or out of the zone, rather. He is getting ticked down. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make it back. I actually just quickly popped over to uh, Top Ramen, who was just looking like he was in maybe a little bit of a fight. Maybe he bounced out of it and got his way out of it. Taking a quick paw. Yes, he is still looking for another opponent. Sin Kid gets the kill onto Borsellino. Those two have just been going after Ooh. each other. That's what happens with friends. One Kenobi takes the kill onto Niku Uwu as well. Pops himself up. Great job by Top Ramen, as usual, to keep his positioning. This is something that is so consistent about Top Ramen, is he will always be on that high ground, and he will always be clapping your cheeks when you come try to take that high ground. As he turns clap, around here, clap, he clap. does hear some, yeah, clap, clap, clap. He does hear some uh, frost in the background. Elpa Dog dies to storm. That must have been an engagement that went sour. There's no way he fractured. At least I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say <laughs> there's no way that Elpa Dog fractured, but we really don't know. I'm going to keep on popping no, I can, to I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now, Elpa died to the zone. I saw him earlier getting his health ticked down. He just oh, did not find a pot in time. Right. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate to say the least. Fenox here just looting. I want to get over to Snowman, who's been doing very, very, very well today. Underrated. We have not been covering Snowman enough compared to how much work he's been putting in on that Tempest. This might be the end of the road for him, unfortunately. But it's a beautiful play. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I gotta, I gotta calm down there, but Snowman just worked out onto Lumi there. I thought he was dead for sure. He was down to 26 effective HP, lands a fireball, turns around and hits the Twitch shot too to secure one more kill before going down. Damn. Beautiful play by Snowman right as we get over to him right there. That's the yeah. Tempest work. Yeah, and I just want to point out, Kamski is correcting us in the chat saying that it's Borsolino, not Borsolino. Oh, thank so. you, Kamski. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, thank you right you. there. I See, apologize I to not... Borsellino as well for uh, butchering his name for the past year. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> old habits die hard. Old habits I die hard. It. Speaking of old habits dying hard, SDK Top Ramen once again getting himself up to high ground. Nothing to see here though, so we're going to keep on bouncing around. Remember, there's 13 people left in this lobby. Fenox is one of them. He's got one yeah. kill so far. Crisis goes down to either Storm or Fracture. Once again, we can't investigate or know for sure. Might have to get a team onto that at one point. Sir Dapper's in here. Coming through. Nothing big. This is that mid-game period, OSK, that you always yeah, see. Yeah, I, I call it the mid-game lull or the mid-game slump. No, nothing's really happening. You're, you see players just kind of finalizing their loot, maybe getting a few extra scrolls. Um, if you're not very high on scrolls, obviously you want to look for some more and just pick fights where you can as opposed to them being in your face all the time. Yeah, like you said, it's the mid-game lull where usually players start looking at the kill lo kill feed and see, okay, we got 13 people left, you know, I can stick this one out and really get my placement scored because it starts multiplying once you get into those top five positions, I believe. So players uh, yeah. really start working for that. Yeah, and I want to direct your attention over to Frived right here. He's just exiting a fight right here and it looks like there's people fighting around him as well. 
He's gonna try to get some snipes. Yeah, nice turn by Fr um, Fried. Uh, Frived, I guess I'll just what I'll drop here. Frived turns around the corner there. He has the common frost, but he's just taking uh -oh. shots from the top ground. This is not a good position to be in. He should just shadow step on top and just W key. He has very few other options. But instead, he kind of just positions himself very appropriately. Oh, nice positioning. Yeah, nice way to spot out that opponent, taking the pop, but it's not going to oh, be enough. Oh, another one. Frivet's down to 40 HP. He's just one more tick. Turns, hits a huge oh, frost up. All he needs is one more tap on his opponent, who's also low, but he dies to Dark Breakers Dark anyway. Breakers Protester R was the one who was scrapping it out with Frivet, but now Dark Breakers is going to be raining down frost shots. There it is. He will secure Ooh. it. Very nice play by Dark Breakers. Yeah, and I want to point out, Dark Breakers is actually one of the few players that got to hit number one on the previous leaderboards. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how well he does with people of the same caliber here. Yeah, it's a little bit different world when you're playing in the pugs compared to these games. As we see Dark Breakers getting jumped on by what I want to say is Chris. Nice outbreak oh, slap by Dark Breakers, though. Great work on that outbreak. flick. Oh, oh one my more goodness. Ooh, and he Dark Breakers. Loki just sauced on him right there. That's his third kill of the match. Nice slap right there. Darkbreaker's getting some good picks. We were just talking about him proving himself. Gets a kill onto another tournament player. Great job. We're going to move on and see what else we can see here. Nine people left in the kill. Nine people, seven yeah, people sure. left to kill. Syncade V2 takes out Larsmon. Kalnor takes out Top Ramen. Battle of the Pyros must have went one way or the other. We see Fenox now getting into a bit of an engagement. Has to turn around. Takes the Shadow Step. Bounces it twice. Remember, he has Runic Fluency with Recklessness. Interesting build. I haven't seen very much of this in the Toxicologist. Jumps his no. way up. Takes a nice outbreak. Fenox continues to move his way through. Has two kills, but he's getting chased on the butt. Jumps up onto the top ground. Way to take high ground. There's opponents everywhere right now. This circle is quite small for having seven people rocking. Yeah, for sure. And I want to point out some details about Finox's build right here. The extra runic fluency, the extra rune, is actually going to give him an extra an extra shadow step. So he'll be able to proc outbreak just a little bit more often. But Kalnor is just on it today. It's not enough. Kalnor takes that kill. That is his third of the round. He just continues to W key onto whoever challenges him. Another player comes up, but Kalnor just backs up on the S key, tries to turn around, takes the Toxic Slap to the face. Armor officially broken. Frostshot comes down too. Nice snipe. I wonder who's hitting these. It's probably Syncade right now working. Oh no, yeah. he got the kill on the Dark Breakers. Never mind. Kalnor yeah, is fighting another player. Breakers. It's going to be Wind that will finish him off. Most likely 37 HP slowly ticking up because of the Harmony. Not enough. Zarin takes the kill. Nice play. We got four people left now. So let's quickly run it through. We got Zarin, Milzy42, Nihasu, and Syncade V2. Let's keep it on Syncade V2 because this guy's popping off. He's got six kills, most kills in the lobby right now. So as is tradition, we got to stay on him. Does a quick 360 there, quickly flicks the wrist. Nothing yeah, going on I, there. Yeah, I just want to point out as well that Syncade, he was volume one, man. This is the new and reformed Syncade. He has had an upgrade <laughs> since the first time, okay? Yeah, Volume 2 100%. is out for blood. We are, we are officially into V2 territory right now as Syncade continues to mop up this lobby. The first Dude, game I'll... of the day was quite a showing from him. Hit, hitting that quick flick onto the backside for his seventh kill. Let's see what he can do here. I think he's definitely thirsty for a win yeah. here. Hits a 64 shot off across the map. <laughs> Almost secures it too. That's going to be good damage regardless. Captain Zarin is the one Look who secures the kill onto Nihao Su. Three people left in this game. So it's Syncade, Captain Zarin, and I want to say it's Kalnor left as well. No, it's no, Milzy42. Yeah, Cal... Oh, it is? No, Kalnor died, so... Yeah, it's Milzy, Syncade, and Captain Zarin in our final three yeah. for the third game of the Element Elite Tournament Qualifier. Syncade sees some little bit of outbreak action goes, but gets the first tick off. Very That's always very good, good to get that important slap. There. Yeah, as you movement, mentioned, that corrosion slap is going to be huge. Syncade turns around, tries to hit the snipe, but doesn't quite connect. Captain Zarin is the one lurking on his side. All three players have shadow steps at this point, so we got to be careful about that invis. Takes the flick. Both players connect lightly. Syncade is definitely looking to try to hit this one. If he hit that in an invis, I would have probably crapped my pants, but instead he misses it just <laughs> barely. Syncade keeps on rolling back, taking a pot, always positioning himself very, very well here. Very. Keeping nice. in the oh my goodness, what a shot. Just a quick peek is all it takes. Jumps his way up for just a second and slaps him with a 66. He sees his opponent taking the outbreak too. Syncade boxes him in and drops off Milzy. Wow, watching Syncade just gets me hyped every single time. That's his seventh kill. If he takes this round, that'll be eight. You drops cannot a heal around this huge man. outbreak. Syncade is looking to secure it. What an advantage he has right now. Oh my, oh my god, goodness. OSK. He hits the wave Hello. on him. <laughs> Hit me with the wave, Ladies baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Syncade takes the third game with eight kills and a wave goodbye, saying goodbye to the EU servers as we move on to NA for the final three games. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with that spell break game four. We are now on NA servers, home and native land out here in North America. 
back on it. So we're going to see a little, probably a slight difference in playstyle from some players who are playing on their respective servers. Now they have maybe a bit more confidence to go for some crazy plays. Quickly running it back for you guys. The first game was won by Larsmon. Second game was won by Alpha Dog, And the third game was won by Sincade with eight exiles on the final match. That was definitely something to see. And we're about to see a lot more coming out here for the final three games. Popping off here. Trying to find some, trying to find some fights early. I have been corrected. Borsellino is the name. It is not Borsellino. Lino. That does not exist. Borsellino. I've been corrected. Thank I you very plays. much. Plays. Look at Kenobi. I'm hopping over to Kenobi right now as he jumps right on top of an opponent. Just barely misses the slap. <laughs> that would have been crucial. Throws down the lightning strike though. It's quite nice. No rune for him to use in the pocket. Does get a great burn onto his opponent. That will be the end of his uh, enemy's day here. Unless he whiffs multiple of those. He's just got to finish this kill off. Nice DF cloud. He's going to finish it there. Cad X. Goes down to Kenobi. Good catch right there, OSK, to find that fight. I thought for a second he might have just choked a couple too many slaps and gotten caught up there, but still enough to secure it right there. AD Dilch goes down to C2X2. Opa Dog as well getting some kills. Ranger Griffin's been out here popping all day so far, too. Yeah, man. Nice to see really Snowman. We got, a, we got that Tempest. We were talking about it earlier. We got Snowman out here on the Tempest with no belt. Dude is risky right now. As he sees an opponent line up, he needs to hit this opening shot, or he plays a big risk here. It's Aww. gonna be a little bit of a snipe fight here, a bit of dodgeball. Aww. Nothing comes though. Nice dodge by Snowman. Ooh. Aww. It's always so intense to see it. Nice oh, poke by his so opponent. Well. It's scary though, because you poke Careful your opponent now. right there, but then you find out he has a belt. And oh, then you gotta decide to yeah. leave. Moktola says, no, it's too late, sir. Give me yeah, that that's... booty. And he takes the full that's... loot there. That's the dangerous thing about flight, man. If you start flying away, you're pretty much flying in a straight line, and that straight line, easy for these types of players. Yeah. Also, well, I want to point out, Larsman goes down to Gordon in the kill feed. Nice. Gordon getting some kills on another on a previous round winner, so it's good to see from him. It's interesting you mentioned as well about the uh, the the flick right there as well. This is Moktola playing off of Pyro, and he hits that. With, this is a common build we've seen so far. Pyro with the Frost and the Offhand. Moktola already has a Legendary too, so he's quite racked up to go. Ooh. We're going to keep on bouncing here. UCTTV jumping around, yep. got that nice trail. See what she's got working. Has the uh, wolf's blood. Sees an opponent in front thanks to that Awu, but not going to make much of it unless she can get over there quick. Charges up. his opponent. Her opponent's jumping over the frost. Looks like a little bit of troll games going on here. UC's going to try to third party and secure. This might be an advantage to play off of here. I don't know if that's Kalnor with the other patchwork, but UC's going to push. Mm -hmm. Wolf's blood will be up in three seconds, so she has to make it work without that. Nothing going to come yep. here. UC in kind of an odd position off the side here. Drops the wolf's blood to yeah. see if there's anything else she doesn't see. No, we're all yep, good. Definitely. Definitely asserts the dominance there, scares them off, wants them to let wants to let the lobby know that, hey, I'm here, don't come near me. Exactly. I'm on to Milzy really quick here as he gets into a fight. He's shooting off a, an ice player. He has legendary boots already, so Milzy's going to be zip, zip, zipping around the map. Takes He's going to be fighting directly against what I think is a Frostborn player, so he has to be very careful about that whole tracking issue. He uh, Even the slightest yeah. little peek will reveal you fully red. Crisis takes out Brett Teddy in the kill. Very Chris takes out Bapoom Kova. The short one takes out Kato yeah. as well. You can see the kill wanna, feeds wanna showing up. Want to point your attention towards towards Kenobi over here. He's in the middle of a fight. That's a nice loading screen. But we have Stone and Toxic, and he is full health, ready to take this man's life. Let's go. It's been interesting. I haven't seen much of Kenobi's play until today, and it's fun to see him. He is definitely a W key Ooh. player. That has been established yeah. by watching this There's gameplay. Player number three. This is a very, very dangerous position for him here. See if he can get the heal off. Yeah, smart of him to drop back down, but it's too late now. He gets hit with two outbreak slaps straight to the back. 20 damage down, two left, Ooh. nothing gonna go. Throws the boulder, but it's not enough, man. Uh. Fenox is on your butt. Takes the kill, Kenobi goes down. Fenox gets his first kill of the round. Fenox has been having a solid tournament. Nothing in terms of really far placements, but every round he's managed to get his way in, get a couple kills, get some damage down, get some work in. But unfortunately, you need a little bit more than yeah, that. He sure. might still place the top 15, but the good thing about this tournament is that you need to be consistently placing in those top tiers like Top Ramen does to make sure you're secure. Yeah. So Fenox yeah, decides to sure. just push completely off of this. A nice thing about the whole S, uh, the S key, S key movement is that you can take that spring step and just bounce your way back while still keeping full vision in front of you. As you see, Fenox did that here. Takes two fireballs. Yeah. Both players trade, though. Fenox maybe not sure if this guy was full HP, but now he does oh, he know. Missed. Drops the firewall, but it doesn't connect. Both dashes come out. Flips Damn, over the top. Fenox needs to connect barely. with these fireballs. There it is. Fenox knows he has the HP advantage. Takes it up. 34 damage to the face. Fenox just needs two more to secure this kill. There's one, and there's two. XXC2XX nice. goes down. Fenox gets See, a second thing... kill in the same frame. Yeah, yeah. One thing Fenox does really well, he knows when to W key, and he knows when to dance. 
And whenever whenever he sees that his health is bigger than yours, he'll just W key you and just face check you. Exactly. And he, something that he does very well. Very brute force method of method of doing it. And if you're ever gonna have someone on your ass, you don't want Finnox on your ass. He does not play nice. A hundred percent. And it's a. Uh... It's one of those things where Toxicologist is the number one class. As I'm sure many of the viewers in the chat know, Toxicologist is the scariest class to get face-checked by. And that's what we just saw right there. Fennec's taking it off. Moktola taking kill into Niku Uwu. Elpidog getting kill into Trivium Gaming. I want to get over to Elpidog because I haven't seen him yet on these NA games, but I have seen him in the kill feed quite a lot. I want to see exactly what's going on over there for him. Yeah. I think he's got three right now. Yeah, let's see. There he is. Never mind. <laughs> the Spectate client is... Booting me off. All right, let's yeah, see. Yeah, the classic loading screen. I'm actually popped over to Elpina, who's into a fight directly. We got lucky with the timing. He's about to third party Iron Poop, who got the kill into Crisis. Two more is all he needs to follow this one up. Nice turn onto the slam. Very well played by Elpa Dog right there to get that full flick. He just needs one more. No, the bridge might have actually blocked him off on the kill. And now he has to burn oh, no. a full levitation bar to get back up. It's going to be one more tap. He is not hitting it, though. This is such That's a, a lot sketchy of engagement. The number one thing to remember as well, OSK, is that even if you secure this kill regardless, you're giving way too much time for the enemy to come up and try to third party you too. You need to secure it. Yeah, exactly. There it looks is. Like he's, looks like he's going to clutch that one out though. Yeah. Iron Poop is no match for a dog. It looks like he's uh, good enough or quick enough on that kill, even though, as we mentioned, a third party does come in right away. You have to two tap to finish kills like you see these very high level players doing so that you avoid the third party. Elpa Dog, exactly what happened here. Takes too long, and now he's going to yeah. get followed up on by what may be Fenox or another player. Elpa Dog with a nice response, though. Turns around, hits yeah. him with a full bolt nice in the face. Elpa Dog may yeah, have just nice saved recovery. his own life by just dishing out the damage right there. Yeah, one thing I want to point out here, he's playing very dangerously here. He's running escape. He's running um, recklessness instead of thirsty, which means he has to spend about twice as long getting his pots off. You see how much time he just took right there. I think so this is the us... only time, maybe I'm just a small brain gamer, but this is the first time I've seen Recklessness Stone Shaper. That just doesn't seem like a combo that would go for me, but Elpidog probably yeah, knows better than yeah. I do, that's for damn sure. I'm, I'm switching over to Fenox real quick while Elpidog just secures up his loot there. Fenox did get another kill just now onto Kalnor. He has three right now. As we saw, Elpidog got that kill. It looks like Fenox actually secured that one on Kalnor after he fought Borsellino, if the kill feed is going to tell me anything correct here. But I'm excited to see Fenox whip it out here. I feel like he's going to, now that he's back on NA, yeah. I'm confident and to see what he's going to whip. Speaking of whipping it out here, I'm looking at Top Ramen over here fighting two people at once. Look at this man go. Not using the Frost Gauntlet, he did make that pledge. So now he's just using the Lightning, which honestly, just, it's Lightning, man. Yeah, as you see there, he <laughs> does secure very crisp with that exact Lightning. But another player is coming in. This is three different fights They're that Top Ramen is having to face straight up. It is interesting that you mentioned that, OSK, because Top Ramen mentioned... He does not want to use Frost this tournament, not because of a balance thing, just because out of his own volition, he wants to try to do this tournament without using Frost. Interesting to see. It's not because he thinks Frost is bad or anything like that. If anything, it's the opposite. Top Ramen is now yep. just using a Lightning instead. Yeah, and you can see something that Sinke tried earlier. Top Ramen is properly using the tree strats right here. Oh yeah, he's bagging he's giving too. Us a nice he's little giving us a couple game. bags as well. I love to see it. Yeah. All right, now let's switch over. <laughs> I popped over to Captain's Rim, but it doesn't look like anything crazy is happening over on this end, so maybe we should keep rotating. Tell me if you can see any action. We're I'm trying to get after I'm looking at over here. Moctola's in the middle of something. Perfect. He actually just finished it up. He actually just finished up Rage, Rage or Griffin. He's at half health, got to get his health bots off. Moctola is a very underrated player in these competitive tournaments. I don't see him in pubs very much, but when I see him out for these events, he's absolutely clapping. As you see here, he's got three kills, 13 <laughs> people left, takes it onto Ranger Griffin, yeah. top Ramen, finished that one. Oh, we did see that kill with the lightning. Ramen securing yeah. it onto Crisp. Nice to see. Everyone's everyone's saying no in the chat. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> What's a Nino? It's a work in progress, It's a guys. work in progress, guys. Teach this man. Oh, my lord. What have I done? <laughs> We keep on going here. 13 people. UCT TV still in this one. So we ready to rock. I can't wait to see what we got coming out here. Legendary Dash for UCT TV somehow secured such a valuable rune. But now it looks like she sees a fight in front of her. Let's see if there's going to be any sorts of push going on here. Yeah, let's see. It's that mid-game slump we were talking about earlier. Yeah. These, these NA players, they love to get aggressive early and they love to get aggressive late. But there's a little bit of break in between. Got to have that nice little, nice little time to get, you know, 
Sip your soda, sip your beer, however old you are, okay? Exactly. And then I've, get right back into it. I bounced over to SDK Gordon. I'm not sure. I believe he's just using this to recharge his HP. I think he may be getting chased a little bit lightly here. Nice to see Gordon coming out here and having a good performance. He's been playing Dude, very, he's gonna very run well Dude, he's going to run into somebody. Yep, there he is. Gets taken out by a quick frost, though. Gordon is now in trouble. I think there's two people on both sides. Hits him with a nice stone slam, though, for 39 yeah, straight. that was pretty nice. That was nice. little blind fire there. Yeah, he does have harmony as well, so you got to keep that in mind. There will be no sorts of freezing or lightning to stop his charge away from yeah. the storm here. But this is a yeah, smart play by Gordon. More, it's a very smart play. Yeah, and this is your more traditional Stone Shaper build. You have Recklessness, which gets back your health and your armor. You have the Stone Shaper by itself, which gets you armor on each stone hit. And then you have Fervor, which lets you do it all faster, which is pretty nice. Yeah, this is, like you said, the standard Stone Shaper build. We do see Alpha Dog whipping up some big brain strats with things like Recklessness. But in terms of just the usual build, we see Gordon is rocking that one. Fenox gets another kill. This time onto Captain yeah. Zarin. That'll be four for oh, him. Oh, he's in the middle of another fight too. I'm popping over to Fenox. Gotta dash away. And he is running a very high damage build right here. Obviously, Toxicologist, he got a lot of outbreak here. You're going to get some double damage. He's running Runic Fluency as well, which gives him an extra invis to proc the outbreak one more time during a fight. It is extra movement and extra damage along with Recklessness too. So if he's below that armor health, then he can just pop an extra 15, 20, 25 percent. Fenox will not miss that given the opportunity. Yeah, but it is interesting. Like you mentioned, he has reckless. Ooh, back to back. Ooh. Quick little feet on that one. Fenox showing off here. But as you yeah. mentioned, yes, the recklessness is an interesting decision for toxicologists. I do get the rationale considering that most fights as toxicologists, you're going belt to belt. And if you need to get down to your lower HP, that increased damage plus outbreak will legitimately two tap somebody when you need it. Fenox charging up here just Look barely misses off the that... top. That is such a big bow. On big bow screen. energy coming out here from Fenox right now as he whips out that yeah, got massive that, bow. That, BBE. that exactly. So now Fenox is taking a very, very, very good position up on this little house. Alpadog takes out SDK Gordon, which you could kind of see on the bottom of your screen there through that firewall. Alpadog got the last yeah. hit onto him. We have 11 people left in this game. Fenox is taking a post up on the tree there. But we're going to keep on Ooh, rotating. Oh, big bow on Megaverse yeah, right here. Yeah, I just got over just in time to see that. Megaverse is oh rocking the goodness. Frostborn. Oh, my goodness. It's huge. It's we huge. got over just in time to see that big bow energy once again. Except this time, Megaverse uses it to secure the kill onto Xerox. Elpidog gets the kill onto Milzy, but it looks like... Megaverse, oh, he was inches away from getting that banger onto Elpidog, which yeah. he would have needed. This may be yeah, a risky engagement. Out. One point of that big bow is compensating for that uncommon frost. Exactly right there. Let's see there. if I can get that rarity coming up. Yeah, well, I think Megaverse may be in trouble. He definitely went way too far forward as a Frostborn. You cannot yeah. be getting up into a Stone Shaper's grill like that. We're going to keep bouncing yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. I That's, want to see what else we oh, got here. Oh, he finds here. an epic. I'm so, onto Top Ramen right now, alert. who's into a fight directly. Top Ramen actually has no armor as well, so this is kind of a risky engagement. He does have a couple pots. He's just burning around the side. Hits him with 36 off the top. Drops the lightning sorcery yeah, as well. Yeah, it yeah. does connect. Top Ramen gets onto another opponent. He is dealing way, so much consistent damage right now. Yeah, by the way, quick service announcement. Megaverse has found an epic frost, so it's now even more BBE. Exactly. Even we got more even big, more of that energy. As we energy. see Top Ramen continuing to drink them potions. Make sure he's fully charged. Nine people left in this lobby. I'm expecting to see a big showing out of Top Ramen here. I think he's about to rip yeah, it up. Yeah. I want to see Fenox as well. I'm excited to see what yeah. he's got in store I'm for looking us. at Mud X over here, man. She is low on health, but she is going after it. I see you. I see what you're saying here. Got that invis room with the toxicologist, so you know yeah, she's, she's charging up for around. those outbreak slaps. This is a tough position right. to be in if you're Mud X. I think you should just... There you go. Yeah, take really that invis is. and take the and, potions. You, as you notice, there is another. no thirsty here for her, so she does have to take twice the oh, time no. to get potted. Yeah. It's unfortunate. No, that, man. Fenox... Fenox got hit by the zone. Oh, he is no. Out. So now what do we add here? We got UC Elpidog, the short one, yeah, and, and Mud, Mud X, X in the final fight. Let's get ourselves to Elpidog, who's leading the game with kills right now. So as tradition, we must stay on him. He has six exiles, jumps up onto the short one, drops a firewall as well. Elpidog looking out. to win his second game this day. Throws out those fireballs. Yeah, yeah. One of those lands at the highlight play, I swear to God. Jumps himself yeah, up I just again. I just want to point out short one. Probably not a tournament player. Yeah, short one may have just worked his way in here off the rip, but we got Elpidog continuing to bounce his way around. This is a nice position to take your potions. Elpidog always so strategic in these final circles. That fire in his side hand, he's going to use that to secure another kill. The short one goes down. That is seven for Elpidog. He might be able to drop a nine bomb here if he can just really get after it. Elpidog has all legendary gear with that rare or that epic shadow step runic fluency. He is absolutely dressed to impress right now. Turns his back, drops the boulder, 33 damage, firewall as well. Wait a minute. Elpidog just Wait doing minute. the work on him. Needs one more flip. I think Mud X has a... Yeah, dude, she had a common toxic. 
That's oh my god, well it's over here. Elpidog gets eight kills, but it might be the end of story here. His opponent is much more ticked than him. Elpidog just fought two straight fights and now he has to fight a third. That is a tough ask for a player to try to finish this one off. Drops the boulder, nice play. Yeah, Elpidog man. continues to rotate, takes a little bit of damage off the side. He is still at about 45 effective HP. Drops another boulder. Elpidog Ooh. is working right now. Dude, he is such an angry man pounding the ground like that. Dude. One more fireball is all it's gonna take. Both players are actually one tap to secure this last game. Ooh. UCT TV goes down to Elpidog with the flex. Hits you that last that fireball. Flex, man. He Damn. got the last three exiles in a row. That's insane. And we see, I like what Death just dropped down. Elpa Pog instead of Elpa Dog. I like that. Elpa That's Pog right, takes the second win for himself out of four games. He is having a goddamn tournament today. That is, I think that was what, eight kills? Nine kills? Oh, it's, it's a lot, man. So... That, that's nine, actually. That's nine, nine exiles. So he got one more than Sincade, who uh, had eight for his win in the last game. Looks like Elpidog set the kill record for today. Set the standard. Thank you Ooh. very much for watching. We will be back with game five. We appreciate you guys for sticking around with us. Very, very short. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with game five. Hello. Of the Element Elite Qualifier Tournament. Are you ready Hi. for this game, OSK? What do you expect to see? Let me hear an early prediction for who you think is going to win this round. Early, early I'm, prediction. Uh, I'm expecting Pog plays. Pog plays. Okay, well, that's a good that's a good expectation here. Let's see. My guess is on Sincade if he's still in here rocking. I think that's my uh, my safe guess. Sincade or Top Ramen? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. Here's a real prediction, okay? I'm expecting Larsman to find an early Frost, and I'm expecting him just to land a little bit higher in the bracket, just like the first game. That's right. what I'm expecting. You're expecting, expecting a little bit of improvement for that round here. UCT TV taking out one Kenobi. Elba Dog taking out Professor Oak with the Frost Gauntlet. And we're on to UCT TV right now to see if there's another fight happening, but there's nothing. UC's just reading a couple scrolls, getting her education. Bouncing over to yeah, the man. Dark Breakers, who had a very, very good game in Game 3. He's out here again. Moktola takes yeah. out a ditch as well. Captain Zarin, I'm onto him. It looks like he may be in a bit of a fight right now. Fighting rooftop yeah, to rooftop. Just so. needs one more tick on that lightning. There it goes. Fenox goes down to Captain Zarin with that lightning on the very, very, very last Ooh. tick. Captain Zarin is now popping himself directly up. Has to try to drop that lightning sorcery, but it's not going to be enough here. His invis will come off cooldown, so he has to try to juke juke with it. Let's see if this is going to be the moment of truth. If he can get away from this, it is not enough. The boulder connects. He will be going down here. That is just unfortunate. He had one chance to get away with that invis, but he just couldn't quite pull it yeah, off yeah. here. Wait a minute, he's actually turning this fight completely around onto his opponent. Oh he's down to 5 HP, goodness. but he actually got the Invis Juke out quite nicely. Does he have Thirsty? Yes, he does. He might be able to get this off. Drops the Lightning. Oh my goodness. I think Captain so. Zarin might make a play here. Never mind. It's Borsalino, and he takes him down yeah. with the stone. By the way, check my pronunciation. I'm going for it today. Borsalino. Yeah, Borsalino. Nice no. No. Borsalino. Borsalino no. says no. There we go. Snowman coming through no with that Tempest through. once again, too. Nice to see him out here representing that Tempest gang. Got that, got that teleport. No invalid target this time, so he gets away with that one. Let's get yes, after Yes, all it. of his targets are completely valid, and he is hitting all of them. I'm popping over to Sir Dapper, actually, right now, OSK, who's in a fight, takes the side dash, but he gets TP'd on directly by a Toxicologist. Sir Dapper is in a lot of trouble here as he gets his armor broken. His opponent continues to W key, throws down the fireball, it connects for 21, turns the corner. This is not going to be enough. Sir Dapper is in a very compromising position right oh, now. Oh, no. Pops himself back up on the bridge. Very nice usage of that firewall to turn himself around. Pro level slide out of that one on Sir Dapper's part. Completely juked him off, but it's not enough. You need to get Ooh. further away, my man. You can't just post up right there. Takes run, a run, 66 run. to run, the run, knees. Run. Sir Dapper run, is now run, 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 incapacitated, run, run, run. slowly ticking that armor back up. His opponent will be chasing. Oh my god, oh, another just, shot. And an opponent oh, he's is got behind two him here. On him. This is not the. Yeah, not very good for his health, man. Definitely not, not advised. Islack hits him with that PS4 snipe right there. Turns around, hits this Ooh. dude with a 56-2. Islack's doing that work, but he gets hopped on by that outbreak toxicologist. Uh -oh. This might not be enough for Islack, who might go down. There's multiple people fighting here, though. Keep that in mind. Larsmon is now going to have to bounce into another fight, too. Hey, as more what? people continue to roll into Ruby Grove. This is ridiculous. What Sorry, my apologies. You, Hemwood ruins. What did I tell you? Larsman is going to be making a comeback this game. I have my money on Larsman today. All right, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, he does have that epic frost. He is getting beamed down by an opponent. He has TP, so he has the option to get out of here. But wow. when you have no boots, it's very, very he hard. He is kidded. He is kidded. He just needs boots and an amulet because right now he's looking a little bit naked nice. on that regard. Nice play by Larsman nice to get on the plays. outside edge. Keep on there flicking at him, Larsman. Finish there off this go. kill. One more. That's all it's going to take. that corrosion. Got to be careful. There, there it goes. is. We're going to keep nice. rotating now because we've spent a lot of time in this corner of the map. And I want to see what else is happening. Shout out to Larsman for securing that one and finishing off that wreck 
of a yeah. fight out there. Now we're on to Alpha Dog. Look at that MLGV getting just beamed down right here. He's got a legendary stone though. Let's see if he can put it to use. I'm actually quickly popping over to Dark because I don't know if MLGV is in our in our list of tournament players. So I want to keep it focused on these boys here. As we see Dark Breakers aiming up a snipe. He's up on the he top isn't. building. Yeah, he drops down I think that he's toxic actually cloud. No, it's a different guy. Yeah, I think that is a different player. So we're gonna just stick on a Dark Breakers who is chasing an yeah. opponent with that outbreak. He does see them, but for some reason he doesn't pull the trigger. Dark oh, Breakers is in an awful position this now. Might, this might mean trouble for him. I hate to call somebody out, but that was a blunder right there. He literally had that guy yeah. fully scoped in and didn't take the slap. He he's gonna probably lose his life for such a mistake like that. In these types yeah. of events, you cannot possibly make that type of mistake when you have a kill sitting right in front of you. Darkbreaker's now just yeah, trying, yeah, to, yeah. trying to salvage what he can out of this play, drinking yeah. the quick let me big tell you pot. What, let me tell you what he needs to do. He needs He's doing well right here, finding a good outlet to get, his, to get his healing up. He has a common toxic, and he has an epic frost. He needs to back off and try to land some good snipes. 100%. He, this is not his position to push in here, unless he can really get a nice third party. He needs to get up okay, on that. Looks like he heard me. Looks yeah, like he, heard he needs to get up on that rock, so get into in. a better better position. Yeah, commentator's curse, so he misses oh, the slap, and in. now he goes in. Both players Very should be low. This is actually the common. right move here. Darkbreakers goes in. The DF does get burned right in front of him, just off the puddle. Turns around. He needs to hit the shot, but his player oh. takes a shadow step. Darkbreakers continues to chase full HP, full tick, full everything. Nothing here coming out so far. No shots landed. He does see the opponent right on his backside. Nice yeah, click yeah. by Darkbreakers. Nice turn by Darkbreakers. He's fully nice. turned his play around from that first mistake. Now he just continues yes. to push on. Nice outbreak slot for 13 break. Corrosion continues to tick down to just the HP. Darkbreakers just needs a little bit more work to finish this kill. That's all it's going to take here, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. He is he is learning very quickly that this is not the same as pubs. Yes. He needs, he needs to bucker down. All these people are just as good, if not better than you, and he needs to strategize just a little bit more. 100%. Yeah. There was just a little bit too much sloppiness in that fight where I think he could have secured multiple kills, but instead Milzy gets away. It was actually Milzy who was in that fight who now just gets into another yeah. fight. And look boxes at Milzy in the going. patchwork. This is what you have to do as a toxicologist is completely box somebody in. Uses his cloud twice to Uses get on the other side. Uses his cloud at the last second. Nice what a job, nice Milzy. Play. He's going to secure this kill, but the wind spam oh, is too much. Dark the Dark Breakers comes, comes into the third party. He that is, wind spam is... Silent ridiculous damage he just chunked him out now the dark breakers is in trouble as the as the patchwork w key continues to press down the stone slams just coming like crazy dark breakers down to 19 hp he has to yep, flip his way goes. back out onto the roof whoa a little bit of a 360 bug there or something dark breakers is in oh, trouble borsellino, borsellino just in, slams but he gets immediately him. sniped he gets immediately sniped after that kill right there oh borsellino took a shot right after that boulder still worth it considering he secured that kill at the very last second iron poop takes out juclo mm -hmm. Juclo's been getting in after these tournaments. Iron Poop getting another kill. Let's pop over to him. I want to see kind of what's going on over there. I think Borsellino managed to mop this up. I don't know if anybody else will be coming in. Yeah, but I can point you over to Elba Dog right now. He's in the middle of some action. He's actually at 50 health. He's in danger right here. Just waiting for this very beautiful loading screen to go away as Elpidog drops multiple stone slams. Yep. Neither of them connect though. Elpidog, like you said, is at 50 effective yes, HP. He takes does. the paw because he knows he's in a risky position. Has the recklessness, yep. but Larsmon Lars is just man, having a game today, man. What did I tell you, man? He's I'm man very impressed on. with Larsmon today. I, I did not, I'm not going to lie, I did not expect to see this type of plays coming out here in the fifth game. Larsmon's got three exiles. He already won one of the games as well. Ranger Griffin takes out Xerox. SDK Top Ramen takes out Frived. Larsmon... Like we saw, got the kill onto yeah. Elpa. He's still just looking around the storm. I think he's a little bit suspicious. Yeah. I think he yeah, sees, I think he he smells a, for a for smells an early water here. Let's keep bouncing around here. Yeah, let's see what we got here. I'm we got very crisp. crisp. Yeah, looks like Chris getting that pot off right here. Looks a little bit on the lower side. This looks like he's actually in a fight though. Well, I think I, he, I I think he just took a maybe side. I think is. he finished off a fight or maybe avoided one, and now is just taking the side potion route. Just wants to make sure he doesn't yeah. get completely ambushed here. Remember, Chris has been rocking that lightning stone build pretty much every scrim I've seen him in so far, yeah. so he's very and comfortable I'm, on I'm it. I'm looking at Ranger Griffin right here. He's actually uh, approaching a fight right here between three breakers. He's in a 1v1 of himself, and there's another 1v1 going on right beside him. This ought to be some good action today. For sure. We see the patchwork. He just decides to shake him off there. Ranger Griffin doesn't want to push too hard. Like you mentioned, there's people on both sides. Somebody tries to hit him with a ramen ball there, but it doesn't connect. Has to keep on rolling here. Ranger Griffin <laughs> needs to just try to get a little bit more pot. It's called a ramen ball. Yeah, ramen you know. Ball? <laughs> when you throw a boulder and you shoot it with fire and connect both, that is a ramen ball. Throws it up there. Doesn't connect onto Ranger all Griffin, right, though. He pops right. himself back up even further. He does have the pyro build with Frost, like we were talking about. It's deadly, but it also doesn't provide you too much Definitely. if you get caught out by some sort of toxicologist player. So he has to be careful about that. 
Yeah, I can tell you from personal experience, having an ice lance go straight through your skull is not a very good feeling, and that's exactly what Ranger Griffin wants these players to feel. 100%. Extremely disrespected with this giant... It's literally a giant chunk of ice going through your face. It's not very comfortable. And he has three stacks on Scavenger. So remember, Ranger Griffin doesn't have to worry as much about overcommitting to a fight because he gets a full 50 armor and 50 HP for each kill he secures. So that's going to be nice if it comes down to the very, very, very end. We got UCTTV yeah, kind of yeah. crouching around, rolling here. I see a fight. I kind of want to get into the central side of it. So we're going to keep on rolling until we find who is involved in this scrap. Iron yeah, Poop, it I'm is not at, him. Looking at Borsellino over here. He's actually about to sneak up on a fight just now. Popping over, as you see, like you mentioned, he has that Invis Shadow Step kind of bouncing through, has the double boulders as well. He is just posted up behind yeah. this building. Borsellino already has two kills, so there's no reason for him to kind of overcommit to anything too crazy right now. He yeah, knows that he's in Borsalino a good position. Getting the 200 IQ play of taunting his opponent before going in. Very, very crucial. Gives you extra damage and extra swagger. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Nothing happening here. This is that mid-game lull that we're trying to reach. We're kind of reaching here yeah. in that fifth game. Yeah, running the meta build. Exactly what you should do. You know, he's done his reading. He's got the full uh, damage reduction. He knows exactly how to reduce his damage and how to shoot faster. So very nice. Good job on the education. Yep, Megaverse and taking that flight ring out. Fight. Gets hit with a little bit of lightning. That is the risk about taking a high flight path, is that you are just opening yourself up to shots. Megaverse just keeps on rotating, has the conduit, but takes a frost shot to the kneecaps. Gets busted yeah. down, now to 95 HP and only HP Ouch. pots. Nothing to do here to regen his armor. Megaverse is in trouble as he rotates. We're going to keep on bouncing. I want to find a fight, and we find one. Kalnor is in trouble, taking shots to the face. SDK uh -oh. top ramen. Finishes him off very handily. Ramen has no armor, though, so he has to back up and watch out for a third party, yeah. as he does. And it looks like Larsman is about to have his life taken down. My boy, who I staked all my money on, is just 45 damage away from getting out of this tournament. And Borsellino takes it. Well, we're going to hop over to Borsellino anyway, because he's popping right now. I see that more fights are coming down for him. Three exiles on him. He's just dropping this, trying to make sure he's at full pot. There's ice just being rained down on him. Fireballs as well. That must be SDK Top Ramen. Oh my goodness, Borsellino he's gets hit by right three now. different abilities on all sides. He's in trouble. This is not that where is you want to be. That That's... is unfortunate, but he's got the Thirsty, which oh, he's taking. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Those up. fireballs from Top, Top Ramen. Ramen are too accurate, too powerful, too fast. Ramen takes Crushes him off. That's his third dream, exile. Man. But regardless, Borsellino had a great game that round, and he has had good games consistently throughout this qualifier. I'm confident that he has reached that top 15 mark if he keeps playing at this level. Great oh, performance for, sure. for him, regardless for sure. of the death, but Top Ramen yeah. has no mercy. Five people left yeah, in this game. Let's just run through who we got. We got Iron Poop, Top Ramen, Megaverse, FTW, Ranger Griffin, and UCTTV in this final circle. We're watching Top Ramen. He's got three exiles and 15 people watching him on that eyeball you can see. So Dude, you know I'm up to 18 now. Very popular man indeed. Very popular man for these events. He's Drops that lightning strike, but doesn't actually connect on it. All the guys and all the girls. Oh yeah, turns around here, tries to flick around. As we mentioned, he's not using ice just based off of personal principle today. Ooh, watch so he's coming now. through with the lightning, takes one fireball to the back, turns around with a nice little juke. Always good to get yourself into the foliage before you shadow step. It's much harder for somebody to track you if you burn your shadow step while oh, you're in that tree. He's about to get sniped right here. Oh, nice firewall. Right in time for that. Yeah, great job by Raman, man. He's just so good. good He's job. so comfortable on that pyro. So good at using that firewall in general. Four people left now. So we're down to Iron Poop, Ranger, UC, and Raman. Two people got shaved off the end here. I'm quickly hopping over to Iron Poop. He's kind of just lurking around the edges here. Yeah. He has two kills as well. We can't forget that he's doing well. Charges that frost shot, but just Top misses Raman it just barely. Is literally, Top Raman is literally right behind Iron Poop. He has to be very careful, very mindful. I, I'm sticking there on the Iron Poop here as he back, goes backwards with that Shadow Step, takes it off now. That He sees that his opponent's flying away, but he misses the shot. Iron Poop needs to hit that. we got to remember that Iron Poop is an EU player, so now he's on to that higher ping. Maybe that is affecting his shots right now. Just barely yeah, misses so. both of those, so now he just has to turn four people left, like we mentioned. I think Top Ramen may take this one, man. He's like in that comfortable position. He's got his items. He doesn't have to I scale sure into anything actually else. Wanna switch over. I actually want to switch over to his point of view right here. I'm quickly popping, Looks though, because like... Iron Poop just got into a fight. He hit the back-to-back -back with that 34. Now he just has to finish the kill. I'm not sure exactly who he's chasing, oh. but he's down on him. One more is all it's going to take. Iron Poop has barely taken a single tick of damage, but he gets that fireball yep. to the face from Top Ramen, like you mentioned. Has to be careful. Yep. The lightning strike comes down, too. Iron Poop just getting hit by AoE from all angles. Down to 11 armor full hp this is gonna be a fight to fight to fight right here lightning breaking him as well 80 hp still ticked uh, iron poop holds that frost but doesn't connect when you need it hits that one though for a full 60 tick goes in the air misses that ramen is looking to just secure both of these kills on the front side iron poop takes the oh, turn baby. this is the outbreak though unfortunately 
Gets the backside, hits that. He's gonna need one more oh, to just tap it. Now. But he doesn't get and it. UCTTV UC. gets the kill. Now we're into a one on one with top ramen between UCTTV. But it looks like oh, ramen is already on the ball. He's gonna secure that fifth game. Let's go. We got one more game for you guys coming up after that in the Element Elite Tournament Qualifier. Thank you so much. Let me see some SDKs in the chat for Top Ramen taking that game five with comfort. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Spellbreak community. We will be back in just a short little second here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the final game of the Element Qualifier. I did not quite make it in the fracture cleanly, so I'm going to have to just take an assisted suicide and jump my little booty in there. How do you feel about this last game, OSK? We have had a successful event so far. We need to wrap it up with some, with some concrete winners here. Remember, you can do exclamation mark scores to check where we're at, where we're placing. Thanks to Chris, the homie, he has made a system that auto-updates scores based on people's performances. So shout out to him. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Go ahead and press exclamation mark scores if you want to see where we're at. We got Syncade back for this game, already taking a kill onto Moktola. I say we get over to Syncade as soon as possible and see what's going on. Yeah, what I'm trying to point out here is that uh, Syncade and Elpa, I want to see those two go off this game. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm predicting that they're going to be the last two alive, hopefully, you know, ideally. I'm, I'm completely unbiased, as you can tell here. <laughs> I, I, can't, I want to see if they can make it into that last circle to see if they can um, make a good pog fight for you guys. 100%. That would be a beautiful way to end it off here. The loading screen has finally given me permission to watch Spellbreak. So now I see that Syncade is just taking these <laughs> epic chests. Thank you, gods of the loading screen. I appreciate you. We're on to it now. One Kenobi takes out I'm yes, No Push yes, of yes. 420. Crisis takes out Water Spider. Juno goes down to Elpa Dog. TTD, TTV Frivid goes down to Dark Breakers. And Juklo gets a kill onto One Kenobi. Shout out to Juklo hey. right there. Juklo finally finally made it in. He did not get to make it in. I think it was either the first or the second match of NA, but now he's finally well, in. Well, Juklo's in a scrap right now off the rip. He's into another fight. Throws the boulder. Doesn't quite connect. Throws it down here. Let's see what he's got. He has the frost stone combination. Nothing's really landing on his opponent yet. He has to be careful about how he approaches this fight. What do you think about the positioning that Juklo is taking right now, OSK? I'll tell you what, I'll let you know as soon as the loading screen lets me see it. Perfect. Well, then I'll let you know that Juklo just took another shot to the face. He's down to 87 HP, no armor. Has to be careful about where he gets jumped on from here. Sees that oh, his opponent takes it. There you oh. go. Loading screen has given you permission. We are out I here. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. So he's got the hollow skin on, which means that he has painted that giant target on his back. That If you're in a competitive event, I can tell you right now, hollows are not allowed. Okay. Hollow's Everyone's just gonna be bring going that extra Hollow's attention when Juklo loves it. Hitting more. Snowman takes a kill onto Dark Breakers with the snow uh, with the wind gauntlet. You see that Gordon took the kill onto Kalnor with the stone. Shout out to Gordon getting another pick right there. And we're on to it. Juklo just needs to secure this as soon as possible. There's going to be nine third parties running in here if he's not careful. If he doesn't get this done, lands a huge stone slam onto what I think is Chris here. Oh, Hits him with nice another boulder. Plays with that. Needs to hit the frost, but he doesn't connect. Gets the freeze, Ooh, which is massive. Nice back to back. Just has to chase this one down. You need to just W key, W key, W key and get him down. Because as we said, there's another fight coming in. Mathematics, who is probably not in the tournament. Unfortunately, though, no. still gets pushed back. Now, one thing I want to point out, he was moving in one direction the entire time. If you're moving straight, like literally straight to the left the entire time, people are going to track that down. You got to mix up your movement a little bit, maybe get some extra height. Ch definitely change up your horizontal movement. Yeah, I think Because Juklo is going to eat that for lunch. Exactly. Well, speaking of eating it for lunch, Juklo lands that fireball and makes him eat that stuff up. Gets a 30 damage tick, but we're going to bounce off because it looks like that fight is wrapped up and we want to try to get some more perspectives in here. We got yeah. Lumi working through. He's, they've had a very good tournament so far as well. The first three games, especially on EU, they were performing very, very well. Haven't seen too, too much coming out so far here. Willy Jutsu gets a kill under Ranger Griffin. Got his way into the lobby, so we'll see what he can do. Keep on bouncing. Somehow here. meandered his way into a lobby. <laughs> Mia just just casually brought him way, brought his way in. Well, anyway, we want him in here. We want more fights, more action. We see Millsy42 bouncing around with that toxicologist kind of sliding, sliding. Yeah, yeah, let's see here. Oh, Maybe we got UC right here, man. They're, they're in the middle of a fight going on. Gets hit by that Ignite, though. He is... But he has double the health of his opponent here. Let's see if he can close it out. Or she. I don't know. Whatever y'all want. We got UC bouncing around here with that... As you said, that loading screen just blocking it through. Can't wait to see. Yeah. Having, having a good tournament so far, I'm not going to lie. UC's been showing out, especially in the last two games, getting a top oh, five placement. As we see the wind spam coming out a little bit lightly. Got that dash rune on a low cooldown. Always has the dash rune, it seems. UC's always lucky with that dash rune. So yeah, nice to have like, it on Stone like Shaper. Yeah, it looks like UC isn't quite finding it here. Let's see if we can find 
Wonder, nope, Borsellino just finished something up, so let's... It looks like the mid-game lull has hit early this game. You know, the sixth game of six, people just kind of no. want to be a little bit scared. Borsellino, as we talk about that, takes down Sir Dapper and another opponent. Borsellino yeah, says, no, 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 give me that. Two exiles yeah, right speaking there. speaking of, I want to I go off to uh, Borsellino here and explain a little bit of what he's trying to run right here. So any of you new players watching this tournament here, maybe you haven't heard of spell break, maybe you have, maybe you're trying to learn to get better. Borsellino is the premier player on Stone Shaper. It is his main, it's what he always does. Whatever he says is the best thing in the world ever all the time, okay? He always and has, and he's got that Triumph OSK. Can't forget that, he hit level 18, so if you die to him, you gotta see that big boulder ball breaking on your forehead right there. So now we're gonna keep oh, on bouncing. Sure. We got Fenox again, yeah. having a great game last game. It is a little bit easier to perform on Toxicologist with lower ping because that those uh, toxic slaps, those toxic flips, they need that lower latency a little bit to make sure you connect all projectiles. Yeah, but we'll yeah. see what else is going on here. It looks I'm like Fenox is getting jumped on. Here. I just want to see exactly crisis. where uh, Fenox is coming from because it looks like a boulder landed, but I'm going to come with you to Crisis. That fight yeah, is crisis ended. Crisis is about to die. I'm just letting you know now. Quickly, well, we'll this pop over and see what the conclusion. Setting. Oof. Gets oh. jumped on here. I wonder which Toxicologist player that is. It's Milzy. Getting the kill. Nice secure for Milzy right there. 20 people left in this game. Milzy's yeah. got one kill on the Toxicologist all day so far. Such a strong class in this solo environment, as you know. Oh, it gives sure. you mobility, it gives you damage, it gives you survivability, it gives you everything you yeah. need in a class. And running the meta build, no less. A man after my own heart. Look at him running that harmony. No stuns, no slows, faster cast speed, and he's got faster drinking, man. And the, the frost as well. That's the, the that's the cherry team. on the that's the cherry on the cake right there. Is that frost with the toxicologist? Milsey's just scoping out this fight, trying to land one over the rock. Very nice shot there. That just unlucky didn't connect, but just poking it over the top there. Tries to hit one, but he oh, gets it onto very crisp. That kill. No, he didn't actually steal it because very crisp at that exact moment landed the kill onto Gordon. So they traded. Chris got the kill onto Gordon, and then Milsey immediately hit Chris, killing him instantly. Both players are I down can, now I can with tell Milsey. You now. I can tell you now, toxicologists are natural born thieves, okay? They steal everything. 100%. And we're about to see a couple more thievery going on here as he misses both of those shots. Milsey doing a great job of just shooting those right over the top of the hill, though. It's very hard to dodge those when you're peeking. Milsey, again, getting two kills. Nice performance. Let's see what else we got here. I'm, I'm on to Captain Rhett. It's bouncing around. Now, let's just keep on rolling. Captain Rhett. No, let's keep on bouncing. I don't, see, I don't see anything going on here. We're trying to find some action. All right. All right, listen. You can go to Captain Rhett. I'm going over to the true captain. The captain of my ship, Captain Zirin, is about to close out this fight right here. <laughs> Closes out Willy Jutsu. Nice secure for him right there. I'm also moving on to Snowman, another Tempest player. Speaking of Zirin, we got a couple people rocking that Tempest. They're comfortable on it. Snowman does oh. have one kill. Interesting, he's got Invis. I've heard mixed emotions about Invis on Tempest. Some people swear by it as you can juke when you bop yourself up. And some people say it is trash. So I don't know what to believe. All I know is that I trust Snowman and he's rocking it. So maybe he knows yeah. what he's doing. The only thing we can really tell you is that us casters, we're trash at the game. These guys know what they're doing, okay? All we do is comment on it. Exactly. Right? Xerox gets the kill into Brett Teddy. Captain Zarin as well, just chilling out here, rolling through. Looks like he's not going to find much fights going on. Just a bit of storm action he's got to get through. Gets through Syncade V2. I want to see what he's on to. Always picking fights here. I think that's what we're about to see, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah Syncade just taking that dash run. I think he sees an invis target. Just barely misses the slap. Oh, Takes two fireballs middle... to the face. This is a risky situation for Syncade yeah, right he... now. Got a real 1v2 going on right yeah, here. Bounces himself up, still nothing. Takes the invis burst, gets his way through. Nice time to pot. Very, very, very smart to pot when your thirsty's coming yeah. up off that invis. He already has three stacks on all talents. No more education is needed for Syncade. He has his bachelor's degree in Spellbreak right now. Ready to rock. He's got a bachelor's in Frost and a doctorate in Toxicology, man. He's going to teach you what for exactly so Sinke decided actually not to do anything crazy on that fight i think he saw three people also yeah. you have to notice when you I see a pyro you, player it can be hard to go one-on-one -on -one with a pyro player what a shot by Sinkade. 56 off the top with just that purple frost bounces through i'm excited to see what he's going to wrap up here Sinkade is always showing off these mechanics jumps down trying to find somebody potting then he finds him immediately sixth Ooh. sense by Sinke to know that zarin was going to be down there looking for a reset oh my god Syncade. So I see that so much Captain, from experienced players. You know, OSK, they always yeah, look man. in those corners. They look in the nooks and crannies to find free little nuggets of loot and kill. And you get it right yeah, in there. The words, in the words of Captain Price, got to check those corners, mate. Got to check the corners. Check that the was corners. Definitely, that, was, 
definitely an Australian accent. I'm sorry to any English people out there. <laughs> well, we're, we're still rocking it. We're good. We got 14 people left. Sinkade's still rolling. We're going to get yeah, back to him. We're going to check on him again later. We got Juklo. Can't wait yeah. to see. Juklo yeah, is actually jumping into a fight right away, OSK, if you want to pop over here and see what's going on. Juklo backing up. Oh, for I'm sure. excited to see. What were you mentioning, though? Sorry I interrupted you. I was, I was just going to mention just something. Just a little aside. doesn't really matter. But all these better players right here, you'll notice that their movement is so smooth. That's the key thing that you look for in a good player. Their movement is almost like a dance. It's very, very smooth. Very keeps up the momentum. It is. It's a beauty to behold. A hundred percent. Well, Juclo is actually in trouble, even though his movement is looking good. He's getting wind spammed with a capital P on that one right there. Getting trolled down. UCTTV dropping it. Drops again, yeah. but doesn't connect. Usually getting burned. It's funny that you mentioned that with Juclo because he got actually stuck between two fights right there. As we were talking about movement, movement and positioning yeah. are important. He got caught out. UCTTV deciding to finish it off. Ten people left in this game. Looks like we got Xerox and a couple other gamers. UCTTV taking a nice little tuck over here. Getting a ni enough break from line of sight to reset themselves for this third party Ooh. action. UCTTV this playing is, this excellent How right much now. action do we need in one match, man? 100%. Jesus. UCTTV continuously just keeps dropping that. Hits a 34, so that person's going to be forced to reset. This is not where you want to be, though, if you're Stone Shaper facing off against two players. You're in the middle of this valley. You need to get out of the ridge. You are stuck between a rock oh, and a hard sure. place right now. You see, you got to yeah. reset. Get out. Oh, that was a nice duck. Yeah, that was. And she will uh, yeah. she will be able to get the potions off now, too. Accidentally drops it. You hate to see that. I don't know exactly what happened there, but the wind spam comes yeah, out, too. Yeah, not sure Tries to cancel there. the fireball. Slams the ground, but nothing connects on top of it. It's going to be Stone Shaper versus this Stone is Shaper a perfect... battle here. This is a perfect environment for a Stone Shaper to shine right here. Oh my Unfortunately, God. they're both Stone Shapers. No, no it's Elpa Dog. Wins. Look at Elpa Dog, hey, you just see, oh, th that was an interesting time where you could see the receiving end of Elpa Dog's damage right there. You see how hard it is to track the dash into Boulder Hold, where they can carry momentum while still turning super, super, super sharp. Elpa, oh, using sure. that to his advantage, securing his third kill. I say we quickly run it through and see exactly who's in this last game standing for seven. We got SDK Top Ramen, Borsalino, Fenox, Sincade V2, Lumi, Millsy42, and we're back to Elpa Dog once again. Who do you guys got on early guesses? I can tell you now, Elpa is just waving hi. <laughs> <laughs> Elpa's got a little bit of a message to send here, trying to finish this one off, get his third win. I remind you, yeah. if Elpa Dog wins this game, he has won half of the games today. He has two wins so far. <laughs> He's just blowing you know, up this, on the Stone Shaper. This reminds me back to the pre-alpha days of Spellbreak. Elpa was the one who would wave at everybody and then hop in the tree <laughs> and then proceed to kill you. Well, it looks, looks like, like he's sticking to his roots like a little bit here. With that, with that tradition there. This is an interesting position to be in if you're Elpa Dog, because he has to now just slam this wall to get his armor back, but people can sneak up on the back side of you. Remember, there's still six people in this lobby. It's not exactly small yet. Millsy 4-2, there's no, people like not. that that you have to watch out for with that Toxicologist. Throws the boulder and the firewall, but neither connects, unfortunately. Burns both sorceries, but still has that legendary boulder in the pocket. Another player goes up to try to approach. We're going to get into this last fight, and it's about to get crazy. Look yeah, at the hill sure. that they're going to be fighting on. This is going to be such an interesting last Ooh, circle. This I haven't nice seen city. this one in a long time. A dust pool I type of circle. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I don't think I've ever seen this one at all. This is going to be really interesting. Looks like Millsy and Simkade decided to wake up here. They're in the middle of a fight. Yeah, 100%. Well, I'm still an Elpa Dog who's just chasing down and finishing Millsy the kill into yeah. Millsy 4 2. Look at that. Elpa Dog dropping Simkade. huge damage. Think, maybe. Maybe, but he gets up, but he only needs one more fireball on that hovering character oh, right there. Elpa Dog is, is just Simkade. so close. I know it is. Yeah, well, he just needs one more. That's it. F five people left. Here it is. He actually rotated onto another opponent, considering that guy's completely full HP. Aside from Look the first fight, there it is. Sincade going down to Top Ramen. To remind you guys, we got Top Ramen, Elpa Dog, and many more fighting for this last place oh, crown. Nice shot. The the spectator bug does glitch out sometimes. He's not actually hitting for 82 damage. It oh, just looks he like barely that. survives, Finox. That was He's unbelievable. In a very Better pop that stone. Get that armor back, boy. Elpa Dog is at 21 HP. Borsalino versus Top Ramen SDK for the last game. Game six finale. Let's see who takes it. Any guesses in here? Borsalino drops the Who's firewall, gonna but nothing's going to come through. Dash comes Who's down. Who's going to get it? Top Ramen's making it rain on Borsalino, but the harmony stops the actual shock effect. Borsalino drops the hammer right oh, there. there Hits it too. One more fireball is all it's going to need. Top oh. Ramen gets down with it. Oh! oh. Good top Ramen gets it. Oh, oh. my lord. We get it oh down right goodness. there. We see the final fight, final game. Thank you very much for everyone coming through. What a final fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Damn. I don't even know what to say to follow that one up, man. I'm speechless.
No, dude. All, all I can say is, guys, thank you all for joining in, of course. 100%. It's been a fantastic tournament. Plays, thanks for having me, bud. Of course, Hopefully. as always. We got to thank Element as well for hosting the tournament oh, and all sure. the rest of it. And this... most importantly, we got to thank the community for coming out and showing us crazy love. So I've learned from the process that due to the delay, I'm going to have to put the screen off, to, off for a minute just so that it uh, doesn't overlap the timing. I will see you guys later. We are going to send the raid off to some homie in the community. But thank you again to everybody. What an event. What a tournament. We will keep you guys updated with the final scores. You can find those on Element Discord to double check exactly who took the win. Also, exclamation mark scores should give you an updated list. Thank you once again. What a game. What a game. And final note, it's Borsellino. Borsellino. Exactly. Exactly. So we are Later, just going to, I'm going to put this one onto the BRB screen, even though the event is over. We need to let this thing rock out for the last minute. Thank you again. We're going to send the raid. Please stick around so we can go show some love to another member of the Spellbreak community. God damn, we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone for coming through and showing so much love. I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, most important thing, if you have any feedback, ideas, or uh, things that you think we should institute into this type of tournament event, you got any cool, crazy things you think of, please DM either me or OSK Gaming and let us know any sort of ideas you have that could make these events better and uh, more entertaining for everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much once again. We will see you guys again next week, next Saturday, same thing, same event. I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe.